The film begins with a guy named he Real who was getting ready for a surprise for his girlfriend Anna with the help of his friend Katya. They were waiting outside Anna's house, but when Anna saw them, she wasn't happy because her birthday had been the day before. Turns out, he Real had forgotten about it because he was too busy. Because of that, Anna decided to break up with him. To cheer Ki Real up, Katya took him to the office where there was a party celebrating the success of a new video game called Cloud Tower. Everyone praised Ki Real for designing the game's study and characters. But he couldn't enjoy it because he was still thinking about Anna. Katya realized this and told him to go home and rest. When Ki Real got home, he found a woman who said she owned the house. Even the police confirmed it and Key Real saw his house had totally changed. The woman had all the right papers, so Key Real had to stay at Katya's house that night. Next morning, Key Real and Katya went to different offices to prove Key Real owned the apartment. But all the records said the woman, Renata, owned it legally. What strange was that Key Real's identity wasn't in any records, like he wasn't from there. At first, Key Real didn't tell his parents, wanting to solve it himself. But things got weirder. His office friends forgot him completely, and even his photo disappeared from the party. Key Real thought Katya might be behind it, but Katya also forgot. Key Real's parents forgot him too, even though they'd talked recently. They said they never had a son. Confused, Key Real went back to confront Renata, thinking she caused everything. She acted like they were old friends, making sure no one got suspicious. At that time, Key Real learned that Renata planned everything, erasing everyone's memories of him, even the dogs. Angry, he attacked Renata, but she had planned it all along. Unfortunately, this situation led to Key Real getting arrested by the police. But soon after, when Renata's body was taken away by an ambulance, Key Real was let go because two police officers suddenly forgot everything. They thought Key Real was just a young guy who got drunk and caused trouble. Then, he got a message on his phone telling him to follow GPS directions. It led him to an old tower where he decided to spend the night. The next morning, Key Real found a lot of strange things happening. The room fixed itself, a mailman delivered letters, and Renata showed up again. She said Key Real was reborn and had to stay in the tower to open a door to a better world called Keem Geem. There, Renata explained that the tower was a border between worlds and Key Real would work as a customs officer there. At that moment, Key Real could say no, but he had no choice because he was a fugitive in his old life. He had to accept a job he didn't understand. Still, he quickly learned the rules and about the new world. He planned to show it to Katya, who didn't know him anymore. So Ki Real pretended to be one of Katya's fans and arranged a meeting. Some time later, Ki Real met Katya and told him everything. Even though Katya didn't remember Ki Real, they decided to visit the tower together. They saw many amazing things there and even enjoyed wine while serving visitors. Then, Anna and a man named Anton came to visit. They wanted to go on a picnic, particularly to find the White Rose. Previously, Ki Real remembered an invitation he had among some guidebooks. Soon after, Ki Real and Katya went towards that place. Along the way, Ki Real explained a bit about Kim Gim to Katya. It's like Moscow, but in a different world where there's no pollution and it's always peaceful. When they reached the White Rose Hotel, they found it completely destroyed. Suddenly, a living statue with weapons attacked Key Real. Luckily, he defeated it in just three seconds, although he didn't know where he sent it. Inside, they found a woman in bad shape who begged for water. After drinking, she recovered instantly. She said her name was Rose, and she'd been in Kim Gim for 160 years. Rose explained that everything was part of Key Real's test. She also talked about the inspection team's experience when they first came to Kim Deem and why they couldn't go back to their old lives 
including their families and loved ones. Rose says Key Reel's body will keep growing forever, staying healthy, and getting really strong. So he needs to learn how to control it. After Key Reel passes a tough test, Rose takes him to check out the White Rose Hotel. By chance, Anton and Anna show up. There, they all get reintroduced, but Key Reel feels a bit weird seeing how close Anna and Anton are. Rose notices and tells Key Reel not to worry, saying drinking water can heal any pain, even heartache. On the next day, Key Reel woke up to bright sunlight and found himself in a new tropical world with beautiful beaches. Shortly after, Anton showed up with some papers for Key Reel to sign, trying to control him despite his superpowers. Renata later visited with an inspection team and gave Key Reel a gift, which turned out to be a tracking device. Now, he could only go 15 kilometers from the tower. Long story short, he real wanted to visit his parents' house, which was only 13 kilometers away. But the train took him further than he intended, causing him pain. Thankfully, some nice people helped him and took him to the city center. After drinking lots of water, Key Real felt a bit better. Eventually, he reached his parents' house, where Daniel and Nina lived. There, Key Real confessed that he was a student doing a task for his teacher, delivering flowers to congratulate Nina for winning an award. Seeing Key Real looking pale, Nina invited him in for tea. They talked warmly, and he listened to stories about Daniel and Nina's younger days. At night in the tower, while Key Real was reading a book from Daniel, suddenly Anton and Anna showed up to check out the new tropical world. Key Real used his powers to ask Anton about his job, status, and what he thought of Anna. Anton said Anna was just a friend. The next day, Key Real wasted no time and asked Anna out on a date. He confessed that he was the one who opened the second door, fulfilling her dream and that she meant something special to him in the past. Anna agreed to go on a date with Key Real to places around the tower and the new world. In the evening, they attended a party thrown by Rose to welcome Key Real as the new customs officer. While he mingled with guests, Rose invited Anna to her room. There, Rose described Key Real as a functional, an eternal being who doesn't marry or have children. Renetta also confirmed that functionalists like Key Real weren't considered human, so there was no point wasting time on them. In a corner of the room, Key Real noticed a man named Felix playing billiards. Felix caught Key Real's interest because he used to work as a customs officer. They talked about various things, including the world of Arkin, curators, and tracking devices. Felix told Key Real that he could destroy the tracking device and go beyond the 15 kilometers limit. But it would mean losing his identity and being sent to an exile camp with rebels. Then, Felix asked if Key Real was interested in trying. But before they could discuss further, Rose interrupted them, surprising them. When Key Real realized Anna had left, he immediately went after her, wanting an explanation. Unfortunately, Anna refused to talk and asked him to let her go. Soon after, a member of the inspection team visited the tower and explained about Arkin, showing evidence of its existence in files. Sixty years ago, Arkin had been open, but was closed again due to a nuclear explosion. Arkin is like a future version of Key Reel's world, meant to teach lessons about avoiding conflicts and disasters. Only Key Reel can open the door to this world, but he's unsure about it. He's worried because he hasn't been able to reach Anna since yesterday. Shortly after, Key Real decides to follow Anna's GPS signal, even though she's more than 15 kilometers away. He finds out that Anna has been kidnapped by a mysterious man. At that time, he tries to rescue her, but ends up fainting because he's getting weaker. On the fourth day, Key Real sees Anton making a deal with the man who kidnapped Anna. The man is a functional, like Key Real, and claims to have killed Anna because she was causing trouble. Upon knowing that, Anton gets angry and traps the man in a car, keeping him away. Eventually, 
the man admits that Anna is still alive, but not in Key Real's world. Then, Anton tells Key Real about this, who is recovering after almost dying. Hearing this, Key Real opens a new world, one that looks like a ruined version of Moscow. Soon after, Key Real met a tough woman named Vasy Lisa, who was a custom officer. There, she gave him a special knife as a gift, saying it chose him as its owner. Vasy Lisa then invited Key Real to her home, which was like a prison world. Even though it looked ruined, the people there were happy because it saved them from death penalties. Later, Key Real saw Anna among the prisoners. He tricked Vasy Lisa into giving a speech, then convinced everyone to rebel against her so they could escape together. Later on, while Key Real was taking care of a child, Katya suddenly showed up looking very different. Katya, who is in charge of the functionals, spoke with authority and expressed disappointment in Key Real's actions. Key Real's movement was restricted to only 50 meters as punishment. However, Key Real didn't give up and continued trying to help Anna. He took her to a tropical world and eventually succeeded in surpassing his limitations. Later on, Anna's condition improved, so Key Real decided to explore a new world called Arkin, which had been thought lost for 60 years. He was amazed by its advanced technology and diverse cultures. However, he was surprised to learn that it was actually the year 1941 in Arkin. Then, a man named Alex showed Key Real around and explained that Arkin was different from other worlds, with the ability to create new ones. But suddenly, everyone in Arkin left because they saw Key Real as an intruder. At that time, Alex couldn't let Key Real leave because anyone who knew Arkin's secret would be executed. Luckily, Key Real escaped the attacks from the residents of Arkin and broke through a cement wall to return to the tower. When he got there, Renata was waiting and took Anna hostage. At that moment, Renata planned to destroy Key Real along with the tower. The film ends with the tower collapsing, but Key Real survives and gets a phone call from his mother, hinting that his family's memories might have returned. Soon after, Katya came not to punish, but to explain that Key Real is the strongest functional ever. Their world is in danger, and to save Anna and the world, they need to go to Chernovic to meet Felix. On the other hand, Renata also survived amidst the ruins of the tower, showing that Key Real and Katya's struggle won't be easy. The film ends. The moral lesson from this film is if you're ever caught in a tower with a villain holding a hostage, just pray for a random phone call from your mom to save the day, because moms always have the best timing.